Hey everybody and welcome to Adventures with Peps today. We are doing another book walk. I've been enjoying going through my book collection with you guys. So I thought I'd dig out some other ones that I got. This is part of a free volume set. I'm going to start on volume three. I have volume two, but I am missing volume one, which sucks. But who knows, maybe I'll find it in time for that video. I've got three weeks basically to find it. This one is all about the lawbreakers of Mega City 1. It is a pure book of fluff, as you are going to see in a second. So let's start going for it. It's a nice hardback book. It's got a lot of pages to it. It is, we're looking at, in total, if I can, 228 pages. Love it. Absolutely love it. So, obviously, lawbreakers talks a little introduction to what the book is about in Mega City 1. talks about the crimes that you expect to find. So you've got the Mega Rackets, Body Sharken, Perp Running, Chump Dumping, Umpty Bagging, Blitzing, Psyching. Just keeps going on and on. Stucky Glandon. talks about the ISO cubes a little bit. Full of beautiful 2000 AD artwork. And finally, we start getting into known perps. So this book is a few years old now. I'm not going to pretend it was. I have actually no idea when it was printed. But I've had this for at least 10 years. <laughs> so it's an older one. So it's not quite up to date. But anyway, it starts off with America Jara, who tries to fight for democracy. Then we go into the Angel Gang. So friggin' cool. Talks about the Judge Ch Child quest, if I can get my words out. Then it goes into each character separately. So you got Elmar Pa Angel, Junior Angel, Link. Of course, we get a double page spread for Mean Machine, and that is such a funny, such a funny uh, image. That's from when he becomes a judge. Look at that. That, ooh, if I can get the shine off, that is an amazing piece of artwork. Looks just like the uh, Warlord Games model. Then we've got Fink Angel and Raddy. Armin Gill, who was known as the Chief Judge Man. He was an ex-judge who was manipulated to create assassinations, thinking that he was working for Chief Judge Hersey. Bella Bagley. A loveless, soulless place. Oh, I have no idea who she is. I'm going to have to read up on some of these. But looks like she gets saved by Judge Dredd. She obviously thinks she has a baby with Judge Dredd. Ends up going to the Kook Cubes. Blanche Tatum, who I believe we are getting a model for her. Also known as the Executioner, ex-Justice uh, Department Street Judge. Goes on to become a vigilante. Call Me Kenneth, leader of the Robot Wars. Absolutely amazing. I would love for Warlord Games to bring out a Call Me Kenneth. I know it doesn't match their timeline, but I think it's such a cool model. Captain Shank, a Black Atlantic pirate who ends up actually being part of the Soviet plan to take over Mega City 1. Once again, would love a model of him. Chopper, the classic. Everybody loves Chopper. I'm wondering if we'll ever see a Chopper in the current Warlord game setup. He did have a model from Mongoose. But I don't know if there's plans to bring him back. Very iconic though. And we get the Dark Judges. Judge Death, who we obviously already have. Judge Fear, Fire and Mortis. Talks about how their uniforms look. Talks about what they've been up to. Very... Beautiful piece of artwork. I love it. I love it. Now, I have some 3D printed Dark Judges, which are a little bit weird because, like, Fear has a sword for some reason. <laughs> I don't really know why. So I do have a set of four Dark Judges that I need to get painted on the channel at some point. Doby Quag. What? No idea. Example of how Mega City 1 can alienate and corrupt its citizens. It's just a man who's completely blew as top and got suffered from future shock. 
Dr. Bolt. I just read about him, actually. Sorry if I'm getting in the camera. I have it over my shoulder today. Dr. Bolt, he's working on land sharks and trying to mind control them. They thought that they could do it on prisoners, but this robot completely lost his mind. Don Ugi Apolino, such a sad story about this guy. I have the original GW model, which I absolutely adore. He was the leader of the ape gang, but following the Apocalypse War, he ended up in an irradiated wasteland, which caused his mind to devolve, and they became primitive, and Judge Dredd sadly had to go in and wipe them all out. The Fairly Hyperman, he's coming soon. I've seen a model from Warlord Games, which is based on this guy, so I'm very excited to have him popping into the game. Father Earth, very early Judge Dredd story where this guy raised the mutants in the Cursed Earth and attempted to take over Mega City 1, and they attacked the Power Tower and created basically a giant volcano inside Mega City 1. He was such a cool character. I would love to have seen a model of him made. Fergie saved Mega City 1 from the Tyrant Cow, now has uh, statues all over the city. I am thinking of making a statue. I'm going to get like an old baseball trophy from a thrift store at some point when I find the right type and turn it into a Fergie statue. Fillmore Fargo, or Faro, he basically collected trash from the 20th century and was selling it to collectors in Mega City 1. But the whole thing got to him and he started believing he was an Egyptian pharaoh and created a pyramid of trash was going to get himself buried in it. Very silly story arc. Fonzo Bongo, if I can get my word out. This is from the Pit story arc. I just read or reread it recently. He uh, was the leader of the Friends uh, crime family for Sector 301. He loved playing the drums. Judge Dredd and the judges could not pin a crime to him and they ended up getting him for tax or parking tickets, if I remember correctly. Heiser Hyman, she is another one of the Democrats group, tried to take over a TV station, prove that the judges are corrupt, try and work to get democracy into force. I am Mike de Klerk, a street judge, very less lenient, less liberal variety with a kill ratio, 12% above the department average. He loved to do street therapy with a day stick. He actually controlled the judge's man that we saw earlier on in this book. Johnny Kiss, he's a bounty hunter. He was hired to try and take out Judge Dredd. Obviously, we all know how that goes. Kenny Who, a classic. He'd come to Mega City One. He was an artist. He was hoping for a better life. It just went terribly wrong for him. Absolute great story. He did, uh, went a little bit crazy with an axe. <laughs> Little Caesar Picante. He is from Lenny Zero. He's a crime boss. He got his, uh, I forget what it was. He put his body into a 10 year old or something. Yeah, moving from cloned body to cloned body there is using a biochip. Funny little character. Mechanaz, I can never say this robot's name. I struggled earlier when we were trying to paint this model and still struggling. Mechanismo, we'll go with that. The judge robot that can be easily corrupted if you know how to mess around with their coding. Such a great looking piece of artwork. So that's the older type. That's the newer one that we actually have a model of. Love it. The monkey, this is a weird mutant that came to Mega City 1 and took over the chief judge, I believe, if I can remember my stories. Ended up being burnt. Mr. Bones, this character I really enjoyed for multiple reasons. First one, we got Xenomorphs. He, as a child, they do tests on the children and he was deemed dangerous, so they threw him out into the cursed earth, which was the worst thing he could, they could do to him because he did end up being dangerous. He went off into space, found the xenomorph eggs and brought them to Mega City 1 and caused untold trouble. Maybe we'll go through that comic at some point. Murd the Oppressor, 
Necromancer of Necros, Lord of Darkness and the Keeper of the Sacred Toad. It's part of the Judge Child arc. He uh, ends up possessing and killing, I think, one of the judges in order to help them find where the child was. Nate Slaughterhouse, part of the Space Corps. Obviously lost it a little bit. Nero Narcos. He created the second robot war, I want to say. He managed to manipulate the Justice Department into buying his lawgivers. And in the process was able to take out the judges of Mega City 1 in one fell swoop. Leaving it up to Judge Dredd and a team of judges to try and fight back. He's such a great character. Odwin Biss. Look at this, we're only like 74 pages in. How many people have we gone through? A wealthy Mega City One industrialist. He was behind the total war extremists who were trying to deal with the democracy. Ula Blint, we all know Ula Blint. The Angel of Mercy. She goes around killing people. Survived for a very long time, I believe, and fled to Britsit. Orlock the Assassin, a horrible piece of artwork they used for him. That's a disappointing piece. He's got so much good artwork and they go with that one. What a shame. Oh, here we go. Better stuff. So that's during uh, uh, when the Kremlin was trying to come back into power and they had a floating island. Then we have him in his classic, almost Stanley red jumpsuit, beating up people. PJ Maybe, a classic serial killer child. He was in so many comics, just causing trouble behind the scenes and getting away with it constantly. Plinky seems to be a mutant. I've not actually heard of him. I don't think I've reached his story yet. President Booth, the last president of America. He led to the atomic war. He also was found within the Cursed Earth during the Cursed Earth story arc, being kept alive by three robots called Snap, Crackle and Pop. He obviously goes on to survive and cause extra trouble for Dread in the future. Rat Fink Angel. He is Fink's son. Ugh, he is so, so ugly. Rico Dredd, Judge Dredd's brother that Dredd ultimately kills. Recently did a blog post on the novel about his time on Titan, which if you haven't seen, head over to www.adventureswithpeps.com. I have a blog. It's all about Judge Dredd and other stuff that I enjoy. Robert Krush, one of the Golden Boys, head of a 30 billion credit empire. Of course, he's got to be a bad guy. These are some newer characters because I've not heard of him. And judging by the artwork alone, he looks a lot newer artwork. Sabat. I really hope they give us a Sabat and some zombies. He created, he brought everyone back to life and we had the most terrifying situation where mega cities were getting nuked off the planet as they were overrun by zombie hordes. Uh, dread ended up having to go to Japan to team up with other judges from around the world to try and take out Sabat. And even the Strontium dog Johnny Alpha joined the team for that mission. It was such a good story arc. Killed off so many of Judge Dredd's main characters at the time. It like absolutely cleaned house on some of the characters. It was a painful story arc to read through. Satanus is a giant cloned T-Rex. There we go. So cool. Next up is Sojan. I've probably butchered that name. His ultimate goal was to come to Mega City 1, raise an army of psychically created monsters known as the Seven Samurai and try and take over the underworld of Mega City 1. It was a weird story, I'm not going to lie. We then get Snap, Crackle and Pop, which I actually mentioned with uh, President Booth. They ultimately were medical droids, keeping Booth alive, but they needed blood to do it. And so the local mutant township thought that they were vampires. Stan Lee, 
martial arts, he beat Dredd in a fight to the point that Dredd had to go find him again to go enact his vengeance and prove that Dredd was the main man. Here we go. See him kicking Dredd's ass. That was a great story. I love these early stories. Spike Harvey Rotten. He was part of a motorbike gang. He was uh, arrested by Dredd early on. But then when Dredd had to go into the cursed earth, he needed a guide. So he turned to Spikes. Spikes joined him and he ended up being an amazing character and had a great story arc within that. Almost a return, a return story. He went from bad guy to good guy and then sadly died. We then got the DeLongs, which are a weird democracy group again. Um, very strange duo. I don't really have much to say on them. <laughs> the Grundwalder, the planet of Xanadu. So he took in the Judge Child and protected the Judge Child from dread and promised to keep him there. But when the Judge Child caused problems, Grundwalder turned him over to Dredd to deal with. The Judah, the Judah, the Judah. Let's go with that. These are cloned judges. So they are cloned from the big stock. So basically there's a few that are Judge Dredd-esque and then there's others that are from previous chief judges. They were created by Judge Morton, who I wonder if he might be in this still. And the goal was they were going to take over Mega City 1 and install Morton as the chief judge. Obviously, Dread ends up beating them. They lost a lot of actual judges to the cause, but he did manage to beat them. And they even captured one who would, was actually a Judge Dread esque clone. And he was called Kraken. And that judge would ultimately replace Dread for a little while on the streets whilst Judge Dread took the long walk. But because of that, the Dark Judges were able to manipulate Judge Kraken and take over Mega City 1 for a while. Then we get the Judge Child himself, who actually brought in a lot of cool characters as we've spoken through this. That's what he ended up looking like, though. Ooh. Trapper Hag. Great, great model. I want to try I tried to make one, but mine just looks like a Care Bear. Uh, I will paint that model, actually, at some point. But he doesn't look like this. He looks too, too Care Bear-esque. Uh, Uno Hammer. Hondo City Citizen. Seems otherwise unremarkable. But he is actually a rogue assassin. Vitrus Dance. Another great Cursed Earth mutant assassin character. He was part of the Pit story arc. They brought him in to kill off Judge Dredd. He uses poisonous scorpions to kill his targets. He's just so evil looking. The classic War Marshal Kazan. He uh, caused the Apocalypse War. Is it the Apocalypse War? Yeah, he was the, he was the Soviet boss during their block mania attack on Mega City 1. Can't have any magazine without Whiteley. He was the first perp that Dredd got. He, uh, I think it was issue one. The guy was using a gun, a sunray gun or something to kill judges from the Empire State Building. Dredd came in, took him out and left him on Devil's Island. He then had a return story. There you go. And then his family also started to join in as well. And that's the book. I know I waffled a lot there. It's nearly a 20 minute long video. If you're stuck through, thank you very much. These books you can find now and again. They do appear online. So make sure if you're interested, you can try and find it. Uh, usually they're on eBay or Amazon randomly. I'll leave the barcode there in case you want to copy that number down. Otherwise, cheers for stopping by. And I will catch you very soon. Bye-bye. Uh,